who we are, as the human being are, who we are. Are we uh, good people on the earth or we are the tragedy of the earth? Because we are destroying everything. Now, with reality, it's, the, the way we see now, and if we keep this way, we're gonna be, we're gonna destroy ourselves and dry very much the planet. Now. Every cut of wood kills the forest. Stop cutting wood from Amazon. Stop buying wood from Brazil. My name is Ernesto Neto. I'm an artist. I I like to make sculptures, yeah, to communicate, to express this art. I understand the world as a sculpture, uh, the volumetry of it, the, the dance of the bodies, the, the light hitting the ground. I work with gravity. Uh, everybody who knows my work knows about that. It's here, the, uh, the balance, the flo floating of this sky here. I born in 64, and 64, I, I born in July of 64, and the dictatorship began in Brazil on the 1st of April of 64. It was a terrible moment for Brazil, of course I don't remember it in that time, but it was a, a nightmare and we live in this nightmare in Brazil till today. I mean, the colonization in Brazil was a, a catastrophe, you know. I mean, there is a lot of great stuff too, you know. But it was an invasion, you know, we, people teach that, that Cabral had discovered Brazil, but we know it was an invasion. I don't know how it's been teaching for the children nowadays on the school. Things got better in relation to that. And uh, a lot of uh, uh, indigenous people had been killed, uh, a lot of slavery. At, at the same time, a lot of uh, the first Brazilian is a son or a daughter from an indigenous woman. And this is quite important to know. And I got to say that in Rio de Janeiro, where I come from, the first Brazilian and, or, uh, is, is a daughter or a, a son from an indigenous woman and a French father. You know, because the French were in, Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro before the Portuguese. And, and this is something very strong in our culture, you know, also because uh, then long, uh, many, many Brazilians sons of indigenous mothers, and after many Brazilians, sons and daughters from African mothers. So uh, this mix had happened, is the base of Brazil. And we don't study that in Brazil. We never have really uh, digest, open this story, clean this story, honor our indigenous mother, honor our African mother. And I got to tell you, brother, uh, not just for the Brazilians, but for the whole planet. In my understanding, we have a lot to learn with Africa and a lot to learn with uh, uh, indigenous America, you know, Amerindian people. You know, if you think about, uh, about Africa, uh, the music of the 20th century is all based on Africa, you know? Is the jazz, is the blues, is the, uh, then it becomes the rock and roll. Chuck Berry invented the rock and roll. Uh, then the pop music, even Brazil is samba, is, is the reggae, uh, all the, the other music from Cuba, from the Antilles, you know, so everything, you know, if you think about the art, you know, the beginning of the modern art is Mademoiselle d'Avion. There is three African masks on it. This is the painting that defines the beginning of the modern art with three African masks. If you think the works of Grancuz, you know, the, the Negra Blonde, uh, the, uh, the Negra White Negra, uh, the, even the Mademoiselle Pogami, you know, the eyes and everything. So it's really, really uh, something that uh, we need to consider very seriously because the Africans. The, the, the batucada, the rhythm, the, the samba, the, 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 the drums, they clean us, they organize ourselves. And you know, the, 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 the bass, the drum, was considered devil in, in European culture. When, you know that in, in, in Brazil, uh, in, in the United States, was forbidden to, to play drums. And then they begin to play uh, saxophone, trumpet, uh, uh, 
piano, everything, you know, they invent that jazz that's incredible that we all love in this planet because it's really something amazing that they had. That's an expression of their intelligence, you know. It's a different intelligence that perhaps is not so easy to put in letters, in books, archives, and put in, in, the, in, the, in the layers of the uh, academy, you know. It's other kind of learning. It's a living learning. You, you learn with your body, you know. And then, uh, this, is, this is very important for nowadays. We begin to really respect the intelligence of Africa, the intelligence of the drums, and, and think about what we are doing with this world. Because uh, uh, this intelligence doesn't allow us to grab and take everything of the world in a way that we are doing that is destroying the planet and destroying our social lives. Is it the other way around? It organizes our social lives. Also, the maraca, tch, 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 for the indigenous is another medicine, is another knowledge. I know these guys, they are so connected to the plants. They know so much, they talk. When they talk, it's the plants they are talking, you know? So they are really the voice of this planet. They are absolutely connected to that, you know? They are into this, you know? They are not, and, and what, what happened? But anyway, back to the Africans. Was forbidden to uh, play drums there. In Brazil, was allowed to play drums because the Portuguese, they like the, the women dancing because they like to fuck them, to rap them, you know, because it's quite violent too. And uh, once I was talking with a French musician in, in Caraivas, uh, in south of Bahia, and he said to me, I said about that to him, and he said to me, you know, Ernesto, the bass was forbidden in Europe, you know, because the bass, the drum, the bass, bo, 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 is the sound of devil. The good thing was to do the strings, the dribble that goes to heaven. So this, this connection of the, 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 uh, the West society to, to, the, to the land, to the ground, looking to the sky, help to produce a lot of things like these cameras and these microphones, and these videos and everything, but took us, us out of the ground. It transformed the ground in devil. But this devil ground, who, who come the plants, who give our food, you know, who give a, a life for us. We eat, we breathe. And this is part of this body, this belly, named earth. So what, what, what I'm trying to say since I mean, I'm getting more conscience about that. But I'm trying to say through my work is that importance of this body, of this body named Earth. And also Ligia Clark, she had a, 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 a sentence that is a, a magic sentence for me from a work she did named The House is the Body. The House is the Body. And one day dancing uh, in a, outside under a tree, if you are feeling like a microbe in the Earth, I, I came an actualization for me that is, the earth is the body. When you see earth as a body, we see us inside of this body. Part of this body, like an like a ant, is part of uh, the forest. Like an animal is part of the forest. So when we cut the forest, like what this tree is here representing, we are destroying everyone and destroying ourselves because we are part of this body too. So that's why it's, I think it's so important if you want really to stop a global warming, we need to listen to the people who play the drums and the people who play the maraca, the Africans and the indigenous. We are here, we have a map of South America, engage with Africa, you know, from the Gondwana time. And these are the areas that are being grabbed, all the energy of the earth in a way. So in Brazil, we have this devastation of, of the whole Cerrado, not just Amazon, but Cerrado, which is the, the, uh, the center of Brazil, which has a lot of water under it. You know, the trees there is a small tree here and a gigantic root over here, full of water. Yeah. So we are destroying that to, play, to plant soya. Soya is great. Soya is live. But transgenic soya and the way they are producing, full of agrotoxins, destroying everything, is, is poison, you understand? We are, we are picking things like tabac. We pick up the tabac and 
we transform the tobacco in the cigarettes. So we transform something that heals and something that kills. So I born in 64 and I grew up with this uh, 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 dictatorship. So uh, this war that I was living, maybe there was also the war, the uh, Cold War, but the war between my father and my mother, and also the war between the people and the state in Brazil at the same time. And when I become an artist, everything I want was to show balance, transparency, you know, that thing, equilibrium, that there is no thing un uh, under, the, uh, under the carpet, you know, under the, the table, hidden, you know, clear five things, show how this, the sculpture is up, you know. This work that we have here, this, this uh, we call it offering for a new conscience. But I don't know if, if it's the right title. Perhaps the right title should be uh, offering for a new time, you know, because we are in the edge of this new time. And perhaps if we can, and I believe we will, we're going to really make a big step for the new time. And for the new, new, this new time, we really will need to listen to the drums, to listen to the, to the maracas, ch -ch -ch, yeah, the indigenous, the Africans, the people who were uh, silenced, but people who for thousands of years, you know, they are being, doing their research too, doing their, their uh, studies. And these studies can be very good also for our society right now. And you know, there's no uh, way for a, for a, uh, let's say a politician runs Brazil without know about indigenous stories and African stories. Because we are at the base of Brazil is mixed. The first Brazilians, what, what the birth of Brazil is mixed with violence, you know, all of it is not a, a beautiful story, but it is a beautiful story at the same time. This thing of good and bad that doesn't exist, this it's, it's seem and this kind of thing, devil, it doesn't exist in the indigenous culture and the African culture. And that doesn't exist exactly the good and the bad. It, it exists is the dance, you know. The African, they call that there is a dispute all the time, you know. And this dispute is great because that's how make we dance. We would be stopped if there was no dispute. But if you want to kill the other, then there is no dispute anymore. The good thing is to be dancing, to be playing, to be uh, uh, joking, but destroy is not good. And this is another problem that we have. And the art is here to, to heal, you know, to, to make our life better, to make us more tender to each other. I never really uh, thought about being a painter. But at this exhibition, we have these paintings. Uh, because suddenly, uh, I feel a kind of, uh, I don't know, it's forced, but push it. Because I need to show this situation that's going on. They are showing uh, the tragedy of our time. When you go to the TV to express, very happy, the uh, high exportations of raw wood in Brazil, for example, the big painting, shows these five years of devastation in Brazil. Uh, the, 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 the guy, the, the analyst, was very proud speaking. In the last five years, there was a growth of 650% of the exportation of raw wood. The numbers are there. The dates are there, you know. And this happiness, and this money, is the last year was, uh, looks like, uh, 228 million, which I think is quite low because it shows also if you divide uh, the millions by the tons, one ton would be equal 90 dollars, which is ridiculous for one ton of wood from Amazon, you know, that is cut in a an uh, illegal way, then the papers are corruptly transformed in illegal wood, uh, and there is uh, people from drug dealers involved on protection, this uh, 
production, you know, it's, it's a nightmare what's going on there nowadays, you know, on these areas, you know, full of violence. Besides the gold that is killing uh, uh, the indigenous, you know, we really need to think about the gold. Never have had so much yellow metal in this planet and never have had so much disease in this planet. We are sick. We, as a human being, we are sick. We lost our connection, our, our joy of life. All my work is about relationship. Everything is in relationship with something else. All life is about relationship. The, our cells are in relationship and communication all the time here. There is tension going on inside of us in the forest. There's a forest inside of us, there's a forest outside, there's a city. The city is another kind of uh, environment full of tensions. For example, this piece here came in a small shipping to the relation of this size. And then we expand it and, for example, this wood was cut here. We send the file and this was cut here in France. So this is a way that we can transport, move from here to there easily. And this is absolutely necessary for someone who lives so far away in Brazil to the center of the center of the planet in a way, but the center of the art in the planet, because this art that we do is based on the European understanding of art. It's based on the modernism. It's based on the process of the enchantment of the European people. Yeah? Because 800 years ago, you had a much bigger, much stronger relation to the earth. There was no this question of devil being the base and the dribble and all these things. This all began to be mathematized uh, during the Renaissance. The Renaissance began to organize the things, control the body, compress the women, and end of the, the common land. You know? And this was uh, generate all this power, but also all this negative side, the, all this uh, collateral effect. We are here with all this plywood, cut with digital files, you know, high sophisticated that, you know. You make a drawing from this drawing, you put it in the computer, you begin to draw in the computer, machine comes and do this drawing, do this, print these letters here, you know. And at the same time, this is cut in the forest, you know. This is, we have this trunk here, and representing a trunk that I sit down in a place in, uh, in Ibirapuera Park, after watching an incredible exhibition created by Jader Isbel, who is not here anymore, I had passed indigenous exhibition, I sit down there and the, and the tree said to me, Ernesto, make me on plywood and tell the people what's going on with us. We are being killed. You know, gold kills. That's the thing. That is a chant that came to me when I saw a lecture from Luizy Boticai and Davi Copenau Yanomami, and she said, we should stop it uh, buying gold. And it, it stayed on my head and came as, as a song that is, stop wearing gold, gold kills. Stop buying gold, gold kills. Stop cutting wood, global warming. Stopping anyway, there is a letter, a lyric that that began to come later. That's inside of this trunk. You can lay down here where I am, or in the other side. Put your ears and hear that, because we don't want to shout that, even though we can shout in other places, but not here, because we, people who work here would be, get crazy. We want the silence of this body represent a cut tree, a, a murder of a tree. Because when we mass cut things, we cannot pray for the thing. If you're going to cut a tree to make a home, to make a house, to make a thing, you have to talk with the tree. You have to say, my dear tree, we're going to cut you because we need to make a house. Uh, okay, tree, they are mothers. They are our mothers. We come from them, you know, we breathe their air, we eat their fruits. So we are absolutely... Uh, how can I say, uh, part of their body and dependent on them. For the exhibition, I invite you guys to come here, take your shoes out, relax, feel, uh, 
if you feel enough fear uh, protected to even be able to take a nap here, you know. I think many times I have received letters of people saying, oh, today is going to be the last time I'm going to sleep in your art. And I think this is the best acknowledgement that uh, I can have. So I invite you to take a nap here, uh, to play. Bring your friends to play together, to have, feel your hands touch this wood that one day was from an alive tree and nowadays is here for our uh, use as a bench, as a sculpture, as a table, as a wall. Yeah. So. <sighs> Thanks to Mother Earth and all the plants. Gratitude.